Hey family, Robert here. If I asked you to tell me what is the most valuable thing that you possess, what would you say? Maybe you would say your, your, your house or, or maybe your, your vehicle. Maybe, maybe you would say your, your bank account uh, as a whole. Or maybe you would even say that you have some inheritance. And it is the most valuable thing that you will have sometime in the future. Well, the psalmist of Psalm 119 says something else is more valuable to him. Something else is what he holds in high esteem. Something else is very, very important to him. He says in verse 72, your instructions are more valuable to me than millions in gold and silver. Let me say that one more time. Your instructions are more valuable to me than millions in gold and silver. Psalm 119 is all about the word of God. It calls it an instruction. It calls it, calls it wisdom. It calls it the lamp unto our feet and the light unto our path. It tells us the way that we are to go. It illuminates the path. It corrects us. It guides us. It directs us. And as a result of all those things, the psalmist here says that it is valuable to him, more valuable than all the money that he would possess. So would you say that your Bible is more important to you than all of your material possessions? Would you say that your Bible is more important to you than all your familial relationships? Would you say your Bible is more important than the most important things in your life? Well, the psalmist of Psalm 119 would say that. The psalmist is telling us today that the word of God, the instructions from the very mouth of the Lord, are the most important thing in his life. I believe he says that because it gives his life direction. I believe he says that because it gives his life purpose. I, I believe he says that because it gives his life, it tells him how to live his life in a God-honoring and God-pleasing manner. So I've simply come here to remind you that the Word of God is most valuable to us. This book right here should be your most prized possession. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the reminder that your word is prized to us. It contains your promises. It contains your truth. It contains your hope for us. And it contains your laws and commands that we are to follow. Allow us to look to it as the fact that it is valuable, that it is your very word breathe onto the pages of scripture and allow us to look to it in times of need as if it were that valuable to us. Lord, we love you. Lord, we praise you. We thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for more daily devotions. God bless you.